the game this one's got some good reviews good people like liking it but i'm like uh it's called killer frequency i'm like uh i'm like a radio dj here i'm dj uh t tootie yeah because my name is tony and i'm always tootie i got the farts baby we're here to play your classic farts and more who doesn't like a good classic fart yeah we're going fart jokes baby Alrighty, yeah, it's killer frequency. I'm like a DJ and I'm gonna solve a murder. Yeah, that's what I do around here. I'm a. I save the world with music. I, uh. I play a song that comforts the killer and he's like, oh man, I'd like to kill people, but like, this song. This song is just too good, man. Alright. I don't know. Alright, but anyways, this is killer frequency. Yeah. All right, let's get right on into it then. All righty. Yeah. Oh, some killer frequency here, y'all. All right, we're moving. All right. Okay, I can't... Uh, see very well with the glasses on even though it's a part of the character of the dj persona i'm sorry i can't see the best it's too dark pick up objects all right can i have me all right what am i doing with it r to dr throw draw uh, r to throw f to drop hold the place out okay All right, all right, all right, all right. Where are we going here? Where are we going? I actually, I don't know anything about this game, really. I'm going to be honest. It, the description just sounded very cool. It had very good reviews. It's like horror-esque. It, um, I'm hoping it's like Home Safety Hotline. Fam. Inspecting objects. You inspect, okay. All right. Hello, dragon. How you doing? Oh, okay. I'm gonna take my coffee mug. So I'm DJ Danny T. DJ Duty D. Playing all the poop you want to listen to. I'm doing well. I'm DJ Duty B. DJ Dudley. Well, I saw something there. I'm DJ. Oh, what the heck? DJ. Oh, hello. I'm DJ Duty Dungarees, because I just pooped my pants. That sounded very... Oh, God. Hello. Ooh, yeah. Love me some of that synth. Is that a little too loud? How's the volume sound? Are we a little too loud on your end, or is it fine? It was a little loud on my end, but I love that synthy. All right. You hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling. Or... All right, I can put the, the DJ glasses back on. How? Forrest, is this a joke? No, <laughs> All right, I'm in the DJ persona again. I was thinking you finally started to ease up. You probably should outside. Cat. You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. I know what a cat is. I mean, Peggy. You be looking fine, Peggy. Anyway. Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Oh, I got a soundboard? Alright, fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. 
really. Hey, hey! <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. David Scopo. What was the first one? Uh, 1980X. All right. Blast processor. All right. We got the flow. I'm looking through the records, lady. All right. I'm trying to pick out a good one. Ooh, the late night lurkers. I like the late night lurkers. That sounds like fun. Storm Riders, the world. We're going to go. I know where it is. All right. We're going with the late night lurkers. All right. Bitch, I'm jamming. All right, up next, phone line button. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. How do I put it back in its thing, though? I want to put it back in the. I, I'm a. Ah! I'm a. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that I can't put it back in the, the sleeve. Line one is the leftmost button. Okay, line one. Right. You're on the air with DJ uh, Tootin' Tooters. This is Captain Donald T calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm, is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. All right, where's, where's the Peggy button? On the phone line. I labeled it for you. Press for Peggy. All right. Press for Peggy. <coughs> brain fart. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? Looking like an, an aviator? Is that what you said? That's an easy one. No, these are Satoru Gojo glasses, all right? <laughs> What was it supposed to do? Sound blaster. Front of the desk to the right. The sound blaster. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume slider. <laughs> DJ. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Sliders should be right in front of you, like directly in front. All right, seems to be all working. We done, Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Yeah, I should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Let's get the show started. All right, you're on the air with DJ uh, Shmoobly Boobly. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he's a man to be doing tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the I'm up. DJ Dinklacker. Hey, you're live with the air with DJ Dinglacker. How you doing? Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to F Forrest Nash. That's a shitty. The scream. That's a, that's a stupid DJ to name. Calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show. I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream. Then you call and guess that scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? Jesus Christ. All right. All right. Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close. And then call in to 
guess that's strange. Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Vaughn, I gave it to you yesterday. Which one is it? Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. The world famous annual no, Gallows I, Creek Harvest Festival. I don't have the tape. You do, you do have stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... <laughs> Playing Tears of the Kingdom as you lurk? Hell yeah, dog! Really, Peggy? You want, you want me to scream? Whee! Oh, this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it! That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip! Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close. And then call in to... Guess that scream. Guess that scream. The perverted Yeti scream, the falling off a cliff screen. Let's go with the falling off a cliff screen. <laughs> well, folks, there you have it. Call in with the guesses. Right. If you get it right, you could win two tickets. To the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Yeah, fried dough! Yeah! And at 555-239-KFAM with your guess. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Boris. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. Oh, Boris, there's a call coming in. Time to turn the music off. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? Why are you calling me with that? 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize your voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Why are you calling me about a dead body? This is a prank. I'm a cool, fun DJ guy. It's on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews? Why, hello there. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. It's still really weird to report this on the air. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or whatever cops are supposed to do? No. I check everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I call Why are you calling me? We need a special broadcast report. Uh, we have a murderer at the town. This hick town only has two cops. Don't call him hick town. We have three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave at the exit. 
Officer Gunderson! Gunderson! That seems silly. You can count on me. I'll, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Forrest. You're the only person with experience manning a phone. <laughs> That's why you called me because I have experience manning a phone. Sure, that makes sense. Whatever. so good at interviews they sent me from chicago to gallows creek right so i've heard but that doesn't matter and besides God dang it. there are two of you you can talk to each other discuss ideas work together well let's have some on the job training right now i have an emergency i need to get an unconscious deputy martinez out of that holding cell it looks like whoever attacked them threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door is there any way you can reach the keys? What up? There aren't any bars in the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Uh... Is there another way into the holding cell that you can see? It wouldn't be much of a holding cell if it had a back door. You're right. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only ones. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm a DJ, and I thought I was gonna. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna be like picking up. Uh... What up? What up? Have you looked around the officers' desks? That's the first place I'd check. That was the first place I'd check too. I couldn't find anything useful. <laughs> Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on there. And, you know. Woo! I did it! I'm big brain! I'll be right back. So far so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? No, I haven't beat Final Fantasy 7 yet. I'm still just slowly trucking it along. I'm still in Junon. I'm getting up to the top soon. I think we can handle this. Maybe we can handle this 911. I just saved uh, Yuffie and then she like reported me or something. It was a night. It was a. Uh, it was rude. Well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Um, it's not gonna be. We're playing a game. There we go. Just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car. You're gonna just leave Officer Martinez there when there's a killer on the loose. Deputy Martinez, sorry. What's happening? What's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? With that mask and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man. 
whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead! He's... What the hell? Oh, God. You think... You think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way! Hey, no problem. Well, what did I do? Forrest, come on. You need to focus. What? I am focused. Don't worry. I'm here. I'm focused. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like you should take one of those. I Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any I'm gonna slowly reach into your packet there, and I'm gonna, uh, yeah. For squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. Hey, hey. I'm big brain. How am I supposed to get up to the car? The whistling man is right there. The whistling man. Take the gun! The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Yeah, this is a good night of DJing. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's cell. <sighs> All right. It looks like the whistling <laughs> Uh, 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 the taser? I mean, it's gotta be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then... Wait. You hear that? I didn't hear nothing! No. no. I don't like it either. Lean on me when you're not strong. No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. Speak to you soon. Go, Leslie. Good luck, Leslie. Well. Brave woman. God, I hope she makes it through this. You know, I gotta say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. L -l 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 live radio. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Hello, Forrest, Peggy, this is Leslie. Are you there? Over. We're here. Over. Leslie. I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! <laughs> Leslie, what's happening? Taser! Tase him! Yeah, take that! Leslie, what are you waiting for? Get out of there! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Yeah, we saved the day! Leslie, are you two okay? Ah! Forrest, that taser? Definitely the right call. Hey, hey! Oh, Me big brain. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek and the nowhere spill, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while. We'll do our 
fast to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just do what you did just now. Gallows Creek is going to be okay. Anyway, once I'm in... Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Oh, shit. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16. The Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. It's funky, it's groovy, it's stabbing the twilight by nice and easy. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually knife and easy. Did she really say it's gonna take her four hours? This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just <sighs> who is this whistling man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the fifties. Edward Marshall Moon. Boo. Whistling. Kills about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. Boo. No motive. He just. Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it whistling. And it was, well, it was on this night actually. The police cornered him. Hello. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? The story is he's biding his time. Wait this looks like Hello time. Puppet. What's Hello Puppet? All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Hello Puppet. A whistling killer on our hands tonight. I don't know. Ooh, I have to check it out. Right. I'm a radio DJ who's uh, taking over for dispatch because there's a killer on the loose. of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end. Big Gap could pump that up to ten, fifteen, easy. Five thousand on the low end? I wouldn't dream of that. Five million. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? My God, it's the killer! Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Uh, I want to suck your toes. Whoa! Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? You know my name. I've come back from the dead to kill again. 
Oh no! Oh no! Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituary. The water temple? Hell yeah. The water temple, I think, is the weakest one of that whole game, but... Oh, this is a prank? Face off! This is a prank. Dusted pretzels and a mega gulp behind the gas station. You got it, whistling man. Uh, a wise choice. You do the forest dash. I, I don't like cream cheese. <laughs> I won't actually be going out to the gas station to buy anything for these kids, and none of you should be going out tonight either. We've got an actual killer out there. I am so sorry. I need to use the bathroom. I am so sorry. The thought of cream cheese. No, I'm, I need to go. <laughs> I'm already preparing myself for this
Sorry about that. Oh. Alrighty. Sorry, we're back. DJ Poopy Butthole is back with a freshly cleaned downstairs. Anyway, this <laughs> next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and your windows locked. David Scorpio. It's David Scopo. Scopo. Moonlight. Peggy. What the hell was that? Kit pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? It's a thing. He pulled pranks pretending to be him. Post shit zoomies. <laughs> Woo! It's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. Hello, caller. You're live on the screen with me. Forrest Nash. What? I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name? What's your trouble? I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Wait, you've got to help me then. I, I'm underqualified for this. And I'm the psycho dressed like the whistling man. Oh, shit! Knife in hand. Oh, boy. It's actually happening. Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But it dropped my keys somewhere along the way. I told her mom, I got a bus to pick up. I can't get moving. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... It's the whistling man! It's the Michelin Man! It's the Michelin Man! The game is quiet. I think it might be you. Nobody else has said anything. We have a show about cars, the Tamora Twins or something. Timberline Twins talk motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The officers are out the door and down the hall. I gotta leave? Oh no. It's quiet to you now. What the heck? Hold on. That's odd. All right, let's try this. How about now? So many locked doors, so few keys. 
Beta? All right. Full color nuts and bolts action. All right. Me too. Now this has to be important. I borrowed your car theft magazine. Those huevos ranchers aren't sitting. I need any. Okay. It's in the bathroom, then, I bet. Slightly better. Do you want me to turn it up more? Do I need more volume? Oh, well, I can go a little bit higher. I could go a little bit higher. I'm DJ. Uh, DJ is Stiggy Spoopy. DJ Schlumpy Dumpy. I'm DJ Just Took a Big Dumpy. And this is the Frumpy Rumpy. I need a key to get in there. Oh, I thought those were both women's bathrooms. Wyatt! God, you guys are such prudes. <laughs> Guy humor. <laughs> this looks useful. Okay, hold on. I'm going to read the magazine. Object tray? Where's an object tray? You find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. <laughs> Let's make it about gender now, shall when we? you're ready, shut the music My off. bad. <laughs> Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. Thanks, Peg. We're back with one I call her Peggy because she picks me. I also kid, I kid. You know I do. How are you yeah, no, I do. You know I'm not like that around here. The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this, baby? Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I... I... Oh. Screwdriver's too fat to fit. What next? Unscrew the steering column. All right. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. You like the Peggy joke. Come on. Look at her over there. She wants to peg me so bad. How long are these screws? Okay. Covers off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here all paired up. And, oh, God. My heart is pumping. Tell me exactly what you see. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. 576-894-320. If there's a four before a three and there's a seven in the moment, there's no, if there's a four before the three and there's a seven in the number, red and blue. If there's a six anywhere it, and it doesn't start with a five, Okay, that's not it. And then if there's a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before the six, zero at the end. And a three doesn't come before a six. Um, I think it's red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Now strip the purple wire, do not touch this live wire. And brush the purple wire. 
strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. I did. I got an achievement for not saying anything for 30 seconds on air. I did it! Fantastic work, baby. Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free. I almost can't believe it, but we did it. Nice work, Forrest. I bet Sandra is positively jazzed that you answered her call. You bet I am, baby! Yeah, baby! We did it, Forrest! We sure did. Sandra Sharp it survived, all right. We're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or, hell. No, I'm pretty sure this is all royalty-free music. Well, I like it here. People are polite. Friendly, usually, if you get to know them. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible, after a while. Not terrible after a while? High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for, I think you're swell. Anyway, uh, I'm I hope hungry. the killer is done for the night. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. 12.42 p.m. Caller on line one. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Boris. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Oh, I love Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons Woo for free pizza. Free here pizza, free pizza. Ponty's Pizza. Wow, Brian. That's really good of you. You really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck because we're always running great deals. We'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza. Beer and pizza. Beer and pizza. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. For Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? 
Nope. In flight check time. Christ. Our captain would like to remind you that the station is required by law to play advertisements from our sponsors. Grab a cassette and stick it in the player. Done. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you Please. want to double your yes, power? Are you yeah. ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? $24.99 for that? Step into Master Jesus. Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate what? and receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master, Master Robbie. Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an oh. ultimate conqueror. Woo! The power of the alligator. Yeah. The discipline of the tarantula. <laughs> the speed of the tuna. The, the speed. of the scorpion. Wow. And the wisdom of the bullfrog. Ooh, the wisdom of the bullfrog? Hell yeah. Classified techniques. I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can yeah. be yours now. Ultimate power! Only Dude, that is a steal. Just call 555 usa to take your first step to becoming a champion. That is a steal. Never forget the element of surprise. If you buy today, you'll receive two additional VHS tapes. The tornado <laughs> technique and karate love making. Woo! Karate love making! Key up! Key up! Key up! Key up! Dude, keeps me keeps me hard. Really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I'm so interested. I, mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate love making sure is something. I bet it is, I, uh, Peggy. <laughs> karate love making sounds like the coolest thing ever. Hey, let's just get to the show. Wow, what a deal. Only $24.99. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. Welcome to the Scream. With, with me, me, Forrest Nash. Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. I want to learn the ways of karate and lovemaking. God, another one? I know Bra Brazilian jiu-jitsu lovemaking. I don't know karate lovemaking, though. Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie? Oh, never mind. Just put me on, <laughs> Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> teen. Uh, teen. This punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye <laughs> when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror I'm getting 30 good at this. years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. 
but I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinet. Not the filing cabinet! I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. Who's that in the red? All in the red? Here is... This person over here? Forrest, I think I've got it. Peggy? Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. That is Peggy. Five more weeks time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Hey, watch your language. We're live on the air. We're just trying to figure out. Realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? No. For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. My mimic voice. Yeah. What do you mean, my you mimic voice? Killer got him, do you? <laughs> well, you think I sound like this? Don't go anywhere. Freak's going to be here any second too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. I'll go pick up that map then. Go, Forrest. The fax machine's in the office <laughs> on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. All right, with that save point there, we're going to take a little break. Hey, uh, go to we're going to get off the air here for a bit. Ooh, I made 11 baskets. Cool. Um, we are going to take a little break. This is the end of part one to Killer Frequency. Uh, I'll probably be back on later playing this. I need to get some lunch and whatnot. I got to sustain myself. You guys have a wonderful evening, though. Afternoon, whatever time of day is you are watching this. Uh, we'll be back with more because this is actually really cool. I really do like this. I think this is neat. Um, I, I want to see more of this game. The office on the other end of the hall. And uh, I don't know how long this game actually is. I don't know if I can do it one sitting or not, but we'll be back. This is the end of part one. One hour seems like a good day. You guys have a wonderful afternoon. I'm going to go enjoy some nice weather. I'm going to go for a little drive and get some lunch. And uh, we'll be back later. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day.